we are asked to determine the partial sums. In the first example, we have the sum of six from i equals one to 47. Notice how the formula that generates the terms of the sum is always equal to the constant six. So if we were to expand this, when i equals one, we have six, plus when i is two, we have six, plus when i is three, we have six, and so on, all the way out until i is equal to 47, where the term is still six. So notice how in expanded form, we would have the sum of 47 sixes, or the sum of 47 terms. And because we are summing 47 sixes, we can determine this partial sum by using multiplication. The sum of 47 sixes is equal to six times 47, or 47 times six. But we can also use one of these summation formulas shown on the right. Looking at the first formula, the sum of the constant c from i equals one to n is equal to c times n. So applying the formula, the constant c is equal to six, and because the index i goes from one to 47, n is equal to 47, so applying the formula, the partial sum is equal to c times n, which is six times 47, which equals 282. For the second example, we have the sum of three i from i equals one to 50. Let's expand this. When i equals one, we have three times one, plus when i is two, we have three times two, plus when i is three, we have three times three, and we continue all the way out to i equals 50. When i equals 50, notice how we have three times 50. So notice how in expanded form here, we have the sum of 50 products. So while I could do this by hand, it would be very time consuming, so let's use one of these summation formulas on the right. Looking at the second formula, we have the sum of i from i equals one to n, which is equal to n times the quantity n plus one divided by two. We'll notice how here the formula is i, and our formula is three i, so before we apply the formula, we do need to factor out the three, the sum or the summation of three i from i equals one to 50 is equal to three times the sum of i from i equals one to 50. And now applying the formula, notice how n is equal to 50. And therefore three times this partial sum is equal to three times n times the quantity n plus one is 50 times the quantity 50 plus one all divided by two. And now simplifying, 50 divided by two is equal to 25, and therefore this simplifies to three times 25 times 51, which is equal to 3,825. I hope you found this helpful.